My name is Jarrell, AKA J Doc from Hollywood Undead. I'm gonna tell you a short story about myself and growing cannabis. And I guess to tell you this story, I gotta tell you a story about myself and music because they coincide with each other so much. Every day that I'm not on tour, I'm in a garden. I've been electrocuted a hundred times. I've built up warehouses, broken down, I've cleaned up a hundred floods. People on my team and family members have been robbed at gunpoint, been thrown in prison. To me, that was normal. Like, this is just what you deal with. It's part of the industry. One of the things about music I loved is the technical aspect of it. Even to this day, our live show, you know, it's pretty complicated with our computers and all the rigs and all the shit. So when I first got into growing, I fell in love with it the day that I started. I was literally running hoses from my neighbor's yard 100 feet across like a fucking driveway off the 101 freeway. Looking back now, it was really fucking stupid, but from the moment I set the tent up and put a tray in there, it was just one of those things that I just became so obsessed with that I never stopped. My dad's health started deteriorating rapidly, and I'm trying to spend as much time as him as, as possible. I'm trying to write a record, I'm trying to take care of 70 lights. You know, I had access to a lot of cannabis, so Dylan and my band started making my dad edible. He started getting better, but the problem was the hospital wanted to test him, and they said if they found THC in his system, they're gonna take him off his insurance and basically just let him die. Started to dabble and write new music for our new record, and. I was just so distracted. You can see it's like the plants that were doing so well started not doing well. We so had to go to South America for some shows and I had to ask my family like, hey, if my dad passes away while I'm gone, like, don't tell me. I had to come home and like, you know, and see my dad, like I had to hold his hand, you know, as he passed away. I went and I sat in my garden that night and like, I don't know what it was, but with all the plants around me, it's like I felt like he was there with me. As odd as that sounds, it like reinvigorated me, and I was like, fuck, this is what my dad wanted me to be doing. I took that as a sign to buckle down and really fucking do it, because, you know, your life is so short, and if you don't, you're gonna regret it forever. What's up? What up? It's your homie, funny man. My name's Danny. Hey man, this is Johnny. Yo, this is Jado. Hey, this is Charlie Seen from Hollywood Undead, and you're watching Dove and Grenade. Dove and Grenade is an extension of our band, Hollywood Undead. It's a cannabis company, though. We're gonna not only do pre-rolls, edibles, vaporizers, gummies, moon rocks, just regular bomb-ass, dank-ass nugs, pre-rolls, doinks, baseball bats. We're gonna do it all, and it's gonna be the best quality, too, and I'm not just saying that because I own 99% of the company. It's because it's actually a good product. It's the only thing I'm gonna smoke, I'll tell you that right now. For us, this is a very big deal. We're able to operate and move forward in a different way because of the legal changes. I've been cultivating cannabis on a large scale for such a long time, and I've always been so private about it. I've never once used my band to try and, you know, take shortcuts or get ahead. I learned everything from the ground up the hard way. We've been waiting a long time, along with many, many people, to be able to come out and do what we've always wanted to do. Unfortunately, with that comes a lot of corporations that are coming to the industry because they see money and are going to mass produce on a very big scale, which takes away any quality control. So for us, we're going to only use high quality stuff. We're not spraying it with any of the stuff that causes cancer. They don't give a shit. If it's going to give cancer, they want that money. I'm not going to sit on the sidelines and watch all these suit pies take over the cannabis industry. You know, people on my team have been robbed and put in prison over the years, and you know, we've literally bled for cannabis. So for us, Dove and Grenade is keeping it within our community where we can oversee our products being made and... We're gonna have some morals with what we do. We're gonna have that bomb ass that also doesn't give you cancer. So this is a big milestone for us as a group and as a company. Uh, we're very excited moving forward. I don't think we've been this excited as a band um, since our first record. So please stay tuned for further updates. You'll see us at dispensaries very soon. gonna get you so fucking baked too, dude.